I'm Danny Cannell with CBS Sports HQ, breaking down all 40 college football bowl games with my guys, Tom Fornelli and Barrett Salee of CBS Sports as well. And we move on to the Quick Lane Bowl. The Pitt Panthers play Eastern Michigan as a 10.5 point favorite. Game takes place December 26th, uh, 26th at 8 p.m. in this one. Pat Narduzzi's squad has had a season where, you know, they beat UCF, which was a really <laughs> good win. Um, they only lost to Penn State by seven, which I think is a really good competitive um, you know, game for them. But they just couldn't, for whatever reason, couldn't put it all together at the right times. They finished seven and five, a little bit underwhelming. Eastern Michigan, on the other hand, barely gets bowl eligible at six and six. I think that's the big reason the ACC squad is a ten and a half point favorite. Barrett, are you going to roll with my ACC or what? ACC, go ACC. You know what? Pit, Pit, maybe if Pat Narduzzi decided not to kick field goals at the one inch line, maybe Ooh. they'd be better in a better bowl than the quick lane bowl. But that said, it's still a pretty good football team, a seven and five team that has been competitive, like you said, defensively. I think Pat Narduzzi, we all know what why he's there. We all know why he got that job. He's a very good defensive coach. And quite frankly, there's nothing about Eastern Michigan's offense that is quite is threatening or should be threatening at all. I think this is a pit team that in a spot like this, maybe Pat Narduzzi tries to shed that ultra conservative label. Maybe he tries to get a little creative and say, all right, look, I'm going to show the world that I'm not this ultra conservative, go into a shell, punt on the 39 yard line coach that I can get creative because let's be honest, in an ACC that has more competitive teams and can recruit, he's going to have to show recruits that he can be a place where you can light it up, go to the go to the league as a wide receiver or running back, and still play at a high, high level. So give me Pitt. I know that the, down the stretch they have struggled, but defense travels, and quite frankly, I don't see any way how Eastern Michigan is going to score because, quite frankly, Eastern Michigan really hasn't inspired me at all this year. You know, Danny, I think you came up with a good T-shirt idea for Pitt. Pitt football, a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> I, I, this is a team a that's lot like in, <laughs> this is a team that's incredibly difficult to predict because they seem like they should be better than they are, but they always kind of tend to have a play, way that they play to their opponent. In those games against Penn State and UCF, they were playing good teams. They played their best games of the season. They beat UCF. They nearly knocked off Penn State, but when they play teams that they should beat. They kind of fool around a little bit and kind of <laughs> keep them close and don't really put it away. And I think that this is going to be a similar situation. I'm really scared of the hook on the 10 and a half. So I'm taking Eastern Michigan because like Pitt, Eastern Michigan is a team that plays to its level of competition. It kind of, you know, floats and takes games off in the Mac, but it's not conference schedule the last few years. This is an Eastern Michigan team that has knocked off a Big Ten team for three straight seasons and they make a habit of being in close games so when i look at this pit two and five against the spread its last seven trips to a bowl game whereas eastern michigan is 21 and seven against the spread its last 28 games as an underdog it is 17 and five against the spread in its last 22 non-conference games and it's 17 and eight in its last 25 games against the winning team against the spread this is a team that plays up. I think Mike Glass in this offense, they can, they'll be able to put some points on the board against Pitt. I think it's probably going to be a lower scoring kind of ugly affair, which makes that 10 and a half even slightly more attractive. If this was nine and a half, I'm probably on Pitt. But at 10 and a half, I just think that that hook is probably going to be what gets us for the Eagles and gets the cover for them. So that's the direction I'm going. I'm going with Tom here with all the numbers he brought to the table to make the case for Eastern Michigan. I'm buying into it. Plus, even though I am an ACC guy, it's not a year to be an ACC guy because they have not <laughs> been very good. And I, it's a tough conference to defend at this point. You talk about Pitt, polar opposites on the other side of the ball. Offensively, they're 111th in the country in yards per play. And yet defensively, they're sixth in the country. Defensively, yards given up per play. I would lean the under in this one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Eastern Michigan's not that good on defense, but I don't think Pitt's good enough to take advantage of it. So I would lean under the 49 points as well. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully for the ACC's sake, they do get the win, but I'm going to take Eastern Michigan in the 10 and a half as well. That's the quick lane bowl. Pitt versus Eastern Michigan Thursday, December 26th at 8 p.m.